I've had these pencils for at least three months now, and I've used them on a variety of coloring pages. Although today, I want to do some tests on them strictly for myself, but I figured I might as well record it if anybody else is interested. The Kalar brand is very budget friendly. This was my step up from Crayola because I didn't really know if I wanted to continue with the hobby, but these have so much pigment, so they are worth talking about. This is the color chart. That's one of the best thing you can ever do as a beginner to jumpstart your creativity is to get involved with the color range that you have available to you. Because even though you might be new to pencils, or maybe you're not and you are familiar, grabbing them individually like this doesn't give you what they'll look like on here. The reason why is the barrels don't always match up. They're similar, but they're not the exact color. So when you're grabbing them from this end, you're not going to get the same results. Let me give you an example. This is Azure, and here it is. So look at the difference. The ranges here are fairly good. The only downside I still have, which I noticed when I got this, was the red is still not real red to me, but there's other beautiful ranges of color. Of course, you've got those beautiful fuchsias and pinks if you're huge into magenta and stuff. Incredible range of yellows. Um, my favorite yellows, if you're curious, are like more of the honey and dark yellow. I'm not huge on most of these others. This one's okay, but it's not even yellow. Um, I'm more into this gold color, which <laughs> this is probably why I have mustard in my hand. The green range is fascinating. Like, this is a beautiful range of teals and greens. The blues and purples are just probably the reason why I would buy another set of Kalar. I'm super into nature and stuff like that. Same thing goes for nice variety of browns. So I've already done the color chart. I am going to do quite a few things in this video since I've had these and have been playing with them for a good amount of time. I feel like I'm familiar enough with them and I do know with every coloring pencil I want to pick my my either top three if it's a small set, top five if it's a it's a medium set, and then top ten if it's a large set that's over a hundred and I think that'll kind of help me play a little more with a color range that I would have never ch checked out really together, right? So to pair them together. So that's one of the things I'll be doing. I did select my top 10 coloring pencils. This is the top 10 colors that I selected. It's a lot of the blues. That Merlot is almost like a vintage purpley color. They do have a vintage purple in here. Um, that's very pretty too. But it's got that Merlot has like this very nice vintage purple in my my head anyway. So yeah, I picked the Oxford tur uh, blue, turquoise, sapphire blue, a lot of blues because they have beautiful blues. They've got a beautiful pewter grain. Kind of reminds me, it's almost like a grayish green. So now that you know my top 10, I wanted to do some tests in here. I did do a test with the white already in in this book um, for Kalar. And just bear in mind, my journey really was um, Arteza, Kalar, and Crayola. This was my first budget set besides Crayola. I do have some new favorites, as you can see. Um, but here's the white, and here's one of the yellows in here. It does all right. You can kind of see it. You can see the text there. Um, even compared to, it's just as good as Arteza in that regard. Um, so let's do a quick test in here. I've got a little snail I've been gradually testing with. I'm going to take the, the pewter green and put it over here. Testing out this paper again. I haven't tested it besides that white a while ago. You can still kind of see the details, which sometimes I like. There's not too much of a wax bloomer in here compared to the Prisma that's here. It's about what I expected. Very, very nice pigment. I think the thing I like about this 
set just it might be a little firmer but it's still it's not gonna you know underwhelm you you're still gonna be very very happy with the results for such a budget pencil let's do a test in flowerscape because this book tends to like certain pencils it's just super smooth the t there's some nice tooth as well I'm gonna do a quick little sample over here real quick so it feels drier compared to that last page when it's super dry feeling it usually I'm not sure what it means but I do know that it means the experience isn't as smooth as some of the other ones which Every time you try different pages, they're going to have a different experience. This is still very, very nice. Look how beautiful. It still gives you that colors you want. It's just a little drier um, than some of the ones like Arteza and Artex in here. And like I said, if you're trying to change it up and you're trying to keep and preserve your real nice pencil sets, that's a very, very, very nice pigment that gets down there and they've got a beautiful range of colors so it is worth it that is beautiful a little white in there to pop out that that's beautiful so that's that one grains of gold this paper is super different than that paper it's more it's kind of smooth but it's a little bit more toothy I think in my opinion which isn't a bad thing each paper and coloring book gives you different experience. I think I will use this page as my challenge for all 10 coloring pencils. So we'll hold on to this. Let's try some Amazon paper pewter green. Do a little coloring over here. So I, tr I tested these out with uh, Artisas recently. That paper's not nearly as happy with it. This is really, really nice. Look at that color getting down there though. I am always impressed with these. And that's why that robotic girl that I did, did so well. It was thinner paper like this. So it likes thinner paper. Check that out. I'm just doing some shadowing over here so I can finish it with another color in the future. Look at that pewter green. So beautiful. You always make me happy. Okay. World of flowers. Let's do some checking in here. We'll do it from the front page over here. Just the intro page. We're going to bring in some burgundy. We should we put the burgundy here? Yeah, let's go for it. Look at that color. And I'm doing the pressure that I always do. It's not too much. It does so well in this book too. I think it's doing better in this book than the last. Look at that. We'll bring in another color up here. Let's see. Yeah, these are wonderful pencils. I'm always pleased by them every time I use them. So let's go back here and get the perfumes done. Let's see what we can do. Since this review is already a little long of a video, what I'll do is I'll put the top 10 color pencils for this set in another video, which I'll link behind this video. So be sure to check that part out, as it was quite a challenge to put all these colors together in one specific item which I'll be doing in a Hannah Carlson book. The other thing I would like to do today though is I'd like to do some tests on the five types of ways to blend pencils in my opinion. One is more of like a they use the phrase blending uh, for color gradient so you take multiple colors together and you kind of layer them enough to kind of blend if that makes sense so it's kind of gradient in my in my mind the other way is using a blender pencil which is clear pencil the next way is a white pencil over the colors 
and then there is a water method. The water method is a little different. You're not supposed to have pencils that are wax or highly wax based to be water based, but if you really rubbed into them, eventually they kind of show that they have, <laughs> they kind of move the color. And then solvent does the opposite of water for wax based. It will move it really well. So there's the five ways I'll be testing, and I'll be doing mostly with these two colors. You'll have to forgive me as the autofocus on my camera is having issues. I'll speed this area up, but just so you know, all five boxes for this test will have the same shading. Yellow will have the full pressure on the left side, and blue will have full pressure on the right side. Each of these colors will have a lighter shade in the middle. And since I haven't done any water or solvent tests with three other popular brands, I'll include this in the blending test. Bear in mind though, Derwent and Prismacolor have a darker shade of yellow, so the end result will have a different shade. So the only blender pencil I have right now is this brand called Pastor. I know the Derwent one's supposed to be much better than this one, so I will be picking that up soon. And this is probably why I never use these blender pencils, by the way. Sometimes it blends it, but it takes away the color, and that's, that's really bad, right? You don't want that. You're pressing down, kind of, yeah, I guess it's called burnishing. Um, this didn't do too bad, actually. I think it's the Prisma it doesn't like. But it does have a lot, it is taking the color. But it's also blending it. See how the, some of this is the pencil, but it looks like some of it's the paper it's pulling up. So that's the burnishing, or the blending, um, I would say a lot of people call it burnishing, by the way, but I'm saying these two colors are blending, if that makes sense. So I'm calling these five types of blending methods. This one is Crayola. So let's do Prisma. Next up is Derwent. So there's the reason why I don't use the blender pencil. The best white I've seen that I've used for a lot of things is the Prisma, but I'm curious to start using the Derwent soon. So start with our Kalar brand. And I always use the Prisma, but I'm just showing what the, if you purchase this set, this is what the white can do. And for this one, I am going to go over the top so you can see what it does. It just kind of smooths it out. For the darker colors, it does add a little clearness to it, like a lighter version though. But it just looks smoother. I like using light colors like that. We're going to do, next up is the Crayola. Can you tell how much I love playtesting everything? <sighs> Crayola White. I do a lot of pressure, so no offense to Crayola. I'm going over the blue like I did with the other, and it doesn't want to play nice. From what I could tell, it has decided that it will forever be blue. So that's one of the downsides to that, but Collard had no issue blending that white out. Let's do white over he here. See, once again, I'm a heavy colorist. I like to add a lot of pressure. And look how pretty that, it has like a nice little, it's just this brand is just so great when it comes to that white. It just makes everything nice and blurred out if you want it to happen. Yeah, it's, sometimes you just want that nice smooth transition and their wipes can do that to any of the coloring pencils. I've noticed every single coloring pencil that you try it with. But that is look looks so much better than that, you know? If you did mess up, 
and you want to fix something, this could do something. Next is Derwent Chromaflow. Start on the edge here. I haven't used their white much. Interesting, it's doing something different. It's pushing the color. It's not, it's not bad, but it looks like it's pushing the color. Let's see. Okay, let's get over here and we'll be able to see what's happening. It's acting different than the others. It doesn't really want to play nice. I mean, it's okay. It's not my favorite. Okay, next up is water. This is gonna be fun. I've got my spray bottle. Little brushes. This is a makeup brush that I cleaned up. Okay, we're just gonna spray it. Okay, I got it wet. Just gonna go. This is for the Kalar. Whoa. Oh no, there's makeup on it. Whoopsie, this is vinegar. Okay. Filled, filled. That was vinegar. Why do I have vinegar in a container in here? Well, that's what vinegar does. <laughs> Jeez, I gotta get some water. I'm gonna use one of these watercolor brushes. I'm so glad I found that out before using it. Oh my gosh, it smells like vinegar. I'm so glad I used that now instead of crying later. We're just going to do this. I'm going to pull it out. It's got a little bit of movement here. It's, and that wasn't touched by, um, that wasn't touched by the vinegar, I don't think. But, um, I'm going to do it right here just to, yeah, see, it's just, it moves a little. It kind of happens with budget friendly ones. We're going to go in. This one is the Crayola. I'm going to pull it out. Ooh, look at Crayola says, nope, I'm not really going to move. Do the same with the yellow. Okay, so that's interesting. But if you ever want it to be watery, you might be able to play with that, especially I bet you that solvent's going to do really well then. Okay, we're going to go in here. And we're going to do water for Prisma. It shouldn't do much. Nope. It says no. I don't really care for water. Good to know. And then Derwent. Let's see what you do, Derwent. We're going to pull it this way. I'm going to pull it up. No, nope. it says no. I don't like water. Cool, that's good to know. I gotta open the window. The solvent hurts my brain. So I don't use the solvent too much, but I am gonna start using it for background. All right, here's Mr. Solvent. I'm gonna pull it out. So it does it. Not as much as I thought it would. I'm going to clean it. Okay, let's try the next one. This one's Crayola. It's kind of blending it. Hmm. It likes it. Not a real blend, but it's not a bad blend. That's so cool. Okay, we're going to clean it. Okay, I'm going to do Prisma. I kind of messed it up, didn't I? <laughs> As you can see, I'm not very talented at this. I'm going to try to pull some of this out. If you mess something up, can you pull it out? A little bit. Even so, you after this dries, you can color back over it. Okay, here's the Derwent. Wow, that is not bad. That's why I don't use solvent too much. 
if you could get the technique to blend multiple color families, it's a really neat way to do it. Let me cap this off before I spill it all over everywhere. Okay, that is safe and tidy. Oh no, I just dropped, see? Oh my goodness. I even got it on everywhere. This is so typical. Yeah, I'm always happy about this pencil and cheaper paper. It just, it doesn't mind it. I'm going to do a quick test over the white on half of this. It's kind of a burnishing method there. Okay. We'll do the same for Crayola. Once again, I have to add a lot of pressure to get this. But it likes this paper. Very smooth. Okay, we're gonna take half of it. Kinda. Just doesn't like it after you after you put it colors down. It says no, no more. This one is C, and this one is K, and this one is P, and this one is P. Okay, next up is the Prismas. The thing about Prismas is that it basically blurs out those lines really nicely. I mean, I know these are darker colors, but look at it, it kind of pops up a little. Yeah, if you want to blend some colors together, look at it does. And that's not what you want with every color, you know, circumstance. That's why each one's different. And that's kind of why I put the colors spaced out weird like that because I wanted to see how that did. I'm not going to do the solvent or water in here. Okay, let's see what this white does. Who did the best? Crayola preserved the lines. This one blended it, so if you're trying to get colors to have a blur to it, this one didn't know what it was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but it blended it, right? Um, so that's cool. And then I'm going to do one last thing because I'm super silly. I'm going to bring in some black because I wanted to show that off between the four different brands. Black for Prisma is like my favorite. Okay, so this one is the Kalar. I'm just going to bring it in here. It's adding a really nice shadow the blue. It's not doing too bad with the yellow. Medium pressure, not too much, but if you're trying to add depth, this pencil is doing alright. Next up is Crayola. It's kind of saying, I really don't want to blend anything. No thank you. If you want this, you need to start with this. So that's one of the reasons why, I mean I can keep doing a lot of pressure, but it's just going to cause issues with the paper but it's okay you can get the results that you want but start with the, the dark through all the shadows if you can then put over it put your color Crayola over it next one is Prisma my favorite pencil because it will work on any coloring pencil and if you're trying to get rid of a color and you're adding a real shadow like you want it to be real deep it's gonna get it out. It's gonna it's gonna do a nice blend. I'm kind of rushing right now, but if you want it to get darker, if you want it to be real light and subtle, it'll get everything that you want over other pencils too, which I won't test. And then here's the Derwent. So I've done a little bit of testing with this, but let's see. Okay, it's not bad. It's doing it. Similar to Kalar, oddly. 
I'm not doing it really harsh, but it, it's doing nice. Look, it kind of has that nice little deepness. I did go crazy on this because I was trying to show the depth, but um, you are so impressive though. Derwent Chromaflow, always impressive. So, now that we know how the Kalar has a good blending technique in most circumstances, as soon as I got these coloring pencils, I had to put them in a case. But I do think that this type of coloring pencil case isn't what I need. I actually want to get a roll-up, which is a really nice one that is easier to store for my particular storage. I will be sharing that video in the near future on me trying to get that situated. Um, so be sure to check back for that. Overall, if you can get these for the cost that I got them, they were $17.99 on sale. Prices changed. This is 2023 when I purchased them. Even so, the amount of pigment that these lay down, they are well worth over that cost in my opinion and these are pencils I think I will miss if I ever run out of these but would I buy 120 again I do like the color range in this set I think that if my supplies went down fairly a lot I think I would buy this set again um, Overall, for budget-friendly, this would be my top pick for new beginners. If you are heavy-handed and pressing down because you want vibrancy, this works. The only downside is, in my opinion, I would like better red. Multiple reds. There is some reds that kind of have a red, but I would say it's weak in the red department. Incredible any other colors I mentioned earlier. But these days I do have other pencils I adore greatly that are budget friendly as well that I have discovered, which I'll share in a future video, but once again I think the, this is a very, very budget friendly. If you're starting and you don't know you want to get into this, you can start with your Crayolas or you can have a better experience by having less cramps in your hand, more pigment on the paper, and this pencil works with all types of paper, which is really nice. I hope you found this information useful, and it somehow even brightened your day. Until next time.